Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. This is a full tutorial series on Angular with Bootstrap CSS. This is the first video of the entire series. We are bringing you around 30 videos on how to use Bootstrap with your Angular application. In today's episode, we will learn how to get started with creating a new Angular application and also installing Bootstrap in our Angular application. Before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you like the videos, give a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, ask me and I will be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with installing Angular application in Bootstrap. So I will show you first that I have a empty folder, which I have it here. Uh, it's empty and then I'm just opening it uh, in my uh, you can see the project structure is empty. So let's get started with installing angular first So to do that we'll do npm install hyphen g which is installed global and then we'll say angular CLI It may it may take a minute or so in the meanwhile, please do subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me We are bringing you around 30 videos on this tutorial covering all of bootstrap components i'm sure after this you can build any application with angular and bootstrap easily so i suggest you that you do hands-on examples with me when you are learning this tutorial so we have installed the angular cli you can see it added 69 packages now let's just do ng new and let's give the, our application a name so we can call it let's say um, what do you call it say reminder service reminderly or let's call it arc reminders right so it's just a name i'm giving you can give any name to it uh, let's create this project so we would like to add routing yes we would like to use scss and this is creating our brand new angular application you can see here it is creating our all the required files and project structure you can see here it's creating the new project directory which we have it here it's doing its final stages of installing some packages so it may take a minute or so again friends i want to remind you if you have any technical doubts, any queries, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. So this may take another couple of seconds. So let's give that time. It will generate all the required unit test files as well as end-to-end -end test files for us. All right, it's taking a minute or so. It's still installing, so let's give it a shot. This should be done any moment. In the meanwhile, I would also like to let you know that there are so many other tutorials that I have posted, which will help you in your interview preparation. So please, if you want, if you are preparing for front end engineering interviews, please do check out the other interview series and sections that we have added. Right, it's taking usual time. But in the meanwhile, let me show you what it has generated. So it generates the source file here. Inside that there is app and we can see all the files that are there. So this is how. Uh, so now we can see that it has successfully initiated, initialized the Git repo and it has created all the files. So this is how you create the new Angular application. And now I'm just serving it so we have to be inside the project folder and say ng serve the default port it will run is 4200 we can always customize that but for now i'm just showing it the default one all right so it's compiling the first time it will take some time so bear with me on that all 
right so now that the main components are done compiled now it's doing the project building it's done so now it's successfully complied compiled and you can see that it's hosted on localhost 4200 uh, we can open our port and just hit enter you can see that ac arc reminder app is up and running you will see the default page so we have got our angular application up and running now it's time to install the bootstrap so i'm going to open a new terminal or let me cancel it here and i'm going to say npm install at the rate bootstrap this will install the latest version of bootstrap in our angular project directory and i will show you how to verify whether it has been successfully added or not so let it done so it says that okay it has installed uh, our uh, packages that are required so let's go to our package.json which is where all your uh, files and dependencies are listed so uh, we should see bootstrap uh, we don't see it here because I think it did a warning so let me just say all right so let's do it again we should see an entry which says uh, that it were it has done it uh, it has installed so okay so it has not installed anything because it is asking so what I'm going to do is the other way and I'm going to just say npm install bootstrap so we will see that now once it's installed you will see that it's already there uh, it should be installed I will show you the other way also which is now you can see it added bootstrap 4.4 in our project repo so it added one package from two contributors and we can see it in our package.json also that bootstrap is added now to import this right so we need to go to our angular.json file you can see it here and in the styles we need to import it right now if you run the application you will not see any difference let me show you that first and then I'm going to add bootstrap so we can see the application is compiled and let's refresh you will not see any difference because we have not imported the uh, bootstrap so what we are going to do is we are going into our node modules and we are going to open bootstrap and we will see the path and we will import this path so here you will write dot slash node underscore modules slash bootstrap slash list slash css slash you can see here bootstrap.css this is the path we wanted and now similarly in the scripts we will add js and we will write bootstrap.js so these are the files that we require we can see it here in the uh, in the css file that we want similarly in the js we have bootstrap.js so now let's successfully compile it again so let's just save it and now once we have saved it once we compile it and to show you better i'm going to use one of the bootstrap classes here uh, i'm going to open app dot and i'm going to remove all of it and just have the router outlet which is required i'll explain that later as to why we need that for now we are trying to just get it out I'm going to give a have uh, let 
welcome to so you can see it is blue color which is typical trademark of bootstrap and now we know that it is applying correctly so this is how you import any uh, bootstrap component into our application so first thing we install it and then we run the commands to uh, install the bootstrap in our application i hope you follow this in the next tutorials i'm going to show you how to use different bootstrap components all together in angular application stay tuned for that if you have any doubts so far please drop them in the comment section i'll be happy to help you or aid before i leave you i request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me thank you so much